I've been on a bit of a hiatus at the moment because I've been moving house. Everything here is a bit of a mess. This room certainly isn't set up yet, but I did just need to get on and make this video because every time I've been getting on my phone lately, I've been bombarded with ads for GLP-1 supplements that are claiming that they will naturally increase my GLP-1 levels or my personal favorite, Nature's Ozempic. So I think you know where this video is going. We are going to discuss these GLP-1 supplements that have been really ramping up and appearing ever since the big Ozempic and GLP-1 analog boom. Can you naturally increase your GLP-1 levels? Are these supplements scams or is there maybe some truth to what they are saying and claiming? Let's find out. <laughs> Now, I have gone through what GLP-1 is a few times already, but if this is the first time you're on my channel, it's a hormone. It's naturally produced in your body when you eat food, and what it does is it stimulates insulin so that your blood sugar goes down, it slows down the speed that your stomach empties itself, so that actually means you feel fuller for longer. It also sends messages to your brain that you are full, you do not need any more food and so that will reduce your hunger even more. All the GLP-1 analog medications like Ozempic, Wegovi, Munjaro, they work to essentially mimic uh, these effects and that has seen pretty good results in terms of reducing blood sugar and also of course with weight loss which is the main reason that we keep hearing about them. So naturally though I think people are going to wonder is there a non-prescription medication way to get these same effects and maybe to increase our own natural levels of GLP-1. And that is where these supplements come in. It's what they're aiming to do. And so what I want to do first is look at a few of these products and see what is actually in them because their labels will make all sorts of claims about acting in the same way that Ozempic does or being able to increase your GLP-1 levels. But the only way that's ever going to happen is if they have ingredients that do in fact give those effects. So like I said before, I've been seeing some ads pop up. And so what I'm going to do is essentially go to their websites, see their products, see what ingredients they're using, what claims they're making, and then essentially just see what we're dealing with. The first one that we'll be looking at is the I Know Shred GLP-1 product. And this one's really interesting because I click on the link and this product does appear, but in a few seconds, it automatically changes to another product just simply called I Know Shred. Um, that one is interesting because I took a screenshot of the ad that I saw a while back. I'll put it on the screen when I first saw it. Interestingly, now when you go to their website, that product seems to not really be a thing anymore and it's been replaced with this Just I Know Shred product. They've dropped the GLP-1 part of the name. I think they may have gotten in trouble or maybe been called out for using GLP in the market. But either way, let's take a look at the ingredients regardless. So I'm going to have to work off screenshots for the GLP-1 product, um, just for curiosity's sake to see what was in it. The I Know Shred GLP-1, um, the one that's missing, here's the ingredients. Now there is a lot here and I don't want to go through each and every one of these ingredients. I'll just save everyone's time and say one thing. There is only one ingredient here that really has any potential to increase GLP-1 production in your body and that ingredient is berberine. So it's this one here. All of these other ingredients either have a very small amount of evidence behind them, um, that would be something like the ginseng, or they really have no GLP-1 effects that we know of. And I do want to point out that while berberine has been shown in some studies to increase GLP-1 production, the dose that it needs to give you any of the effects seen in the studies is much higher than what this particular supplement has. I've seen about, I think, 1500 milligrams being used in the studies that have been giving the effects, and this supplement here has 250 milligrams. So even if it did work, the dose just simply isn't high enough. Now, the rest of the ingredients in this product, like your caffeine, theobromine, grains of paradise, these are more so actually stimulant-based ingredients. 
and honestly caffeine is likely the only one here that properly works so it seems that they have rebranded anyway because the Inoshred GLP-1 product doesn't seem to exist anymore and it has been replaced with this um, Inoshred product and if I go to the ingredients um, they took away the berberine and they kind of just have the stimulant ingredients now to help with fat burning I'm not going to go into whether it'll work for fat burning or shredding or whatever it's claiming, but you can probably guess what I think of it. Now, I know SUPS still do have a GLP based product. Uh, it's just called Trim Biome GLP-1. So let me go find that. So it's this one here now. Now this product is making some pretty bold claims. Um, they even seem to have some doctors on board. Here is the ingredients though, let me just pull that one up. Again, berberine is the only thing here with strong evidence behind it for actually increasing your GLP-1 production. If you take the recommended two capsules that it's asking you to take, you get 800 milligrams of berberine. Still not quite as high as the 1500 milligrams that's been used in studies, but let's talk about what else is here. There's L-arabinose, which in a small amount of studies has seen increases to GLP-1 levels after consuming it, but not really as strong as berberine. And we also have this ingredient here, this tribiome, which is a proprietary blend. Now that means I have no idea what's in this. A proprietary blend is essentially a, the company's own secret blend which we just have to trust that it works. Honestly, I don't like seeing proprietary blends. They just aren't very transparent. We have no way of knowing what's actually in them or the amounts of anything that is in them. Now, when you do look at these prices of 70 US dollars a month, that is pretty steep for something that if you look at the fine print of, hasn't actually been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, so that's the FDA. Once again, that is the issue with the supplement industry. There is no need to legally prove anything. And in my opinion, if you're wanting something along the lines of a supplement that may increase your GLP-1, berberine is the only thing with some decent evidence. But even then, it has its own issues, which I'll mention later on in the video. Even then, don't even think you'll be getting Ozempic level results, that's just not going to happen. There are a couple of other products I wanted to discuss as well. Uh, this is the LEM, I don't even know if I'm saying the brand correctly, um, GLP-1 Daily. The website is, as you can see, very colorful. Uh, apparently this brand was developed by one of the Kardashian sisters. That doesn't mean it's gonna work though. The most important thing is going straight to the ingredients. There's only three ingredients in this, which part of me actually likes. I like seeing smaller ingredient lists. Now these three ingredients do actually have some studies that have been done on them. And that's why if you scroll through the website, it says they are research backed and they have clinical science backed results. Um, I did have a little bit of a closer look at these studies. Most of them tend to have small sample sizes so this study that they're talking about here on the screen um study one had i think only 30 people on them or 30 people in them so it's a bit hard to generalize those results to bigger populations and say that it will work for everyone when your size is so small but the morosil ingredient this one here i went and looked at the study regarding this and this it's actually really good so Morisil did provide some weight loss benefit. I think this ingredient here is the one that actually carries this product. Um, it's the one with the most potential. Again, more research is needed. And the others, yes, there's evidence, but they do provide way smaller results. While they are ingredients that do have research behind them, they're ingredients that are probably new and upcoming. So there's a very small amount of research behind them. There is one more product I want to talk about, and that is a bit of a different one. So we, what we have here are these GLP-1 patches. So essentially you put this on your skin and what they're saying is you'll eat less. Now, my main issue with this one is that it again if you go into the ingredients, it uses a proprietary blend. And yes, in the brackets, it does tell us the ingredients. And we do see berberine there, which is maybe a good sign. 
but we have no idea how much of each ingredient is in this blend. They may all be in there, but they also may be in amounts that are too small to give you any kind of effect. If you're wondering why this is a patch and not a tablet or a capsule, berberine, the ingredient that I've been mentioning a few times, and the ingredient that seems to be the one that has the most evidence behind it in terms of increasing GLP-1, that is really, really poorly absorbed into your body when you take it as a tablet or as a capsule. And so I have seen some studies where this ingredient can be absorbed through the skin a bit better. And that may be the reason why that this product is a patch. I don't actually know if that's the reason that they made this a patch, I'm just guessing. But what I'm hoping that you can see by now is that any supplement or product that is using the term GLP-1 in its marketing, you should probably just ignore because what they're trying to do is get you to think that their product can give you the same or similar effects of the prescription GLP-1 analogs like Ozempic or Munjaro, and that just simply isn't going to happen. There are ways to naturally increase GLP-1, but the amount of increase will be nowhere near what the prescription medications can provide to you. Now, I know the GLP-1 is like a magical word now because of all the results that these medications have resulted in, but don't fall for any marketing that uses the same word. If you feel you need something like this, go to your doctor, get treatment that is under their supervision and don't spend hundreds of dollars on supplements that probably don't even work and in the worst case they may cause you more problems because they have a whole lot of ingredients that you may react to or that they may interact with medications you are already taking. I do know I sound a bit mad talking about these products. Um, it's just because the branding and marketing some of these products are using really annoys me. If people are looking for GLP-1 type products, they're probably looking for them because the actual medications are too expensive of a choice for them or because they are quite desperate to lose some weight. And either way, they are quite vulnerable people and it sucks that products are trying to take advantage of that. So stay safe out there. Um, seek help from your doctor if you need it and I sound like a bit of a broken record but you'll be way better off trying to make small consistent changes to your lifestyle rather than jumping from supplement to supplement claiming to be the number one solution that you only need to take a magic pill a day. Now that's all from me for now. Videos will be more consistent soon. Um, I'm just setting up my space in our home. Hopefully this background looks a little bit more homey soon. I do have a lot of plans for this channel so hopefully you stick around to see what's coming. See you in the next video and until then keep playing the long game.